I want to raise this up a little bit. Now this is my skill building vlog number two, Trap Bass in the NPC Live. What's good everybody, welcome back to Lifted Noise, my name is Raul. If you haven't been here, what I focus on on my channel is NPC live videos, beat making tutorials and samples. I share those every once in a while. Now, this is my skill building vlog number two. A big part of growth is understanding our own limitations so that we can improve in areas that we may need improvement. So I've started this vlog in order to focus on some areas and build some skills up and some things that I haven't yet put my attention on. A key to growth is the you just have to start mentality. You can't be waiting around for perfection or to have all the information because you're gonna be limited. You're gonna stifle yourself. But if you begin with the knowledge that you do have, I can guarantee you from my own experience that you're gonna learn some things along the way. In my first vlog, I went over how to do trap hi-hats in an NPC Live. So sticking with that same theme, I wanna learn a little bit more about how to do trap bass in the NPC Live. So one thing I know that's synonymous with uh, uh, trap bass is having a, a tuned 808 kick drum that's pitched across your key bed so that you can play not only rhythmically, but also like melodically along with your chord progressions or with your samples. I'm gonna grab one of these kicks that's stock with MPC Live. And it's handy to have something like this, um, the guitar tuner that goes beyond that. It's a wide frequency range. I'm gonna figure out a pitch in one of these kick drums in here, one of these uh, track kick drums in the MPC Live. So if you don't have one of these, you can follow along and just uh, load up the same sample. I'll show it on the screen. You can just uh, set everything all, all this way if you haven't ever done this yet. So once in your browser menu, you go to your search directory and then type in trap. Put a dash on there and then type in kick. Then all these uh, kick sounds will load up. Maybe this one. So there it is. Uh, I'm going to load this up, and then I'm going to go to my sample editor, just so I can play it. Here is my tuner. I'm going to turn that on. Reads. So I'm getting an F. So once i got a reading on there, I'm going to input that there on the root note. And I'm just going to pick an F. It doesn't tell me what, what place. Um... What F on the keyboard it is, but I'll just pick an F and then kind of see how that goes. Yeah, so from here, I'm going to want to go ahead and make myself a new program within key groups. So key group. Uh, let's name this real quick. 808. Let's see. Bass. Go to menu. Program edit. So all I gotta do is just enter the sample in here. So now it should be mapped across all my keys. Doesn't really matter, but I kinda wanna, I want this deeper right here. So I could go back in the sample edit and change my root note to this way. So I'm gonna go up to F. It's like F2. I'm going to make sure it's accurate by looking at uh, my tuner here. So it looks good. So diving deeper into some of my settings for my key group. I'm going to go into program, edit, excuse me, filter envelope. And then I want to uh, adjust the release a bit. Right now, I don't get much of a tail. It just abruptly kind of stops. So I want to turn this up. And uh, this should turn it up for my entire key group as a whole because um, there's just one sample in there. So see the difference from when I turn this up, I'm getting a little bit more on the release so it kind of gets that bounce you see that so now one issue also that you'll hear is that it kind of sounds muddy because um, the keys are overlapping each other and those frequencies are clashing so another 
a parameter that's important that you want to switch up on this is going to your master section. So, and then you want to look up at uh, polyphony. So your polyphony right now is set to 16, meaning that you can have up to 16 MIDI notes playing simultaneously, like stacked on top of each other. So what you want to do is um, you want to turn this all the way, turn your knob to the left all the way until you see, well, not all the way, almost all the way until you see mono. And mono means that only you only have one. See, so you go from mono to two. Um, so mono means one, right? So meaning one MIDI note. So that means that when I press a key here, when I press another key, it's going to cut the other off because my polyphony is only one. So I won't get the clashing of the frequencies because the sample is being played over top of itself in the different pitches. So effectively, I get this sound. So the notes are cutting each other off, and that sounds a lot better. So I definitely want to document the process of doing this so I can share as much as I do know about this subject right now. And then in the meantime, I'm also um, trying to learn some new things. So what I want to do is I want to play out some some chord progressions and then show you how I would go about matching my 808 bass to my chord progression. Each one of these chords that I played, and the root note would be so the, like the lowest uh, lowest key on the keyboard within those. Um, so I was playing triads, I guess, within those three keys. That right here is going to be my root note, and that is so that's that key right there for my next chord. I'll move on here, so it's going to be. basis for my 808 kick so I'll just mess around kind of with the rhythm with that and play it along as the chords are kind of you know progressing feel like this quite sounds like trap. I'm going to work on the hi-hats real quick, although it isn't related. And you can uh, check out a link in the description for my previous skill building vlog on trap hi-hats and NPC Live. So I feel like this uh, the bass needs to hit a little bit harder, so I got a couple ideas. For one, I want to pick out a like, kick drum that's that's not really um, as bouncy. It's not the 808 sound, just something that's kind of harder. It's got more mid frequencies to lay underneath it to give it some more uh, knock. Is that, that's the best way I describe it, some more knock. So I'm talking about maybe like a kick drum like this. See how that just, it's real short. And it's more of just the attack. It's also got the mid, kind of low mid frequencies. So I will try that one out. Kind of like how that's knocking right there. All right, so the next thing that I want to focus on that I had thinking about, you know, things that are like synonymous with trap bass would be you always hear like the ramping up of the pitch of the bass. Um, that's something that I've been waiting on as far as the update that's coming up 2.6 of possibly having portamento or the glide function. Being that the MPC Live doesn't have that available standalone, I don't even think it has it within the software, but it doesn't have it available within key groups. My uh, initial thought before I even searched any of that was just to go ahead and use the pitch wheel on my keyboard to create like a pitch bend between the notes on the bass. So in order to do that, there's one more setting within program edit that I'll show you. So going back into my 808 key group, going to menu and then program edit, 
Now I want to look at right here LFO modulation. And so the by default pitch band is set to zero. And I want to raise this up a little bit. Now this isn't a science, but I've just kind of experimented with it. I guess that's what science is, it's experimentation. So that's pushing the we all the way up. So once you have your pitch bend uh, setting adjusted, I ended up going up to 48, which I believe translates to semitones, which is four octaves. So bend that all the way up and bring it back down to get that kind of uh, effect that you hear in trap bass. I could do this live, you know. But that'd be a little more difficult. It would take some practice. So since I already have my trap bass, I have my bass already... Uh, sequence I can go ahead and try to mess around with just playing with the pitch bend to see if I can get a sound that sounds similar to what I hear in a lot of trap now, this is going to take some practice as well that I'm going to be messing around with that for a bit and still waiting out for it. update 2.6 my next idea would be to go ahead and into one of the standalone plugins baseline and try to create my own 808 style kick drum in there Will it be pitched already because it's in the synth? And then try to mess around because that does have a glide function. I might have to end up doing a part two to this and leave it at this.